Manchester United give an asking price by Bayern Munich to sign Matthijs de Ligt. Bayern Munich will demand a 50 million euros, 42 million pounds, transfer fee from Manchester United for Matthijs de Ligt, according to reports in Germany. United have made the signing of a new centre-back one of their priorities for the summer transfer window following the departure of Raphael Varane. Everton's Jared Branthwaite is one of the leading candidates on United's shortlist, but their opening offer of £45 million has been rejected this week. United are ready to walk away if a deal for Branthwaite proves to be too expensive as Everton are holding out for a fee in excess of £70 million for the 21-year-old according to Sky Germany. De Ligt is an alternative option for United and the Premier League club have started internal discussions over a move for the Netherlands international, who played under Eric Ten Hag at Ajax. Bayern Munich are prepared to sell De Ligt this summer but are looking for a 50 million euros, 42 million pounds, FEE.DE Ligt, who joined Bayern in a 77 million euros, 65.6 million pounds, deal from Ajax in July 2022 suffered a disrupted campaign this season due to injury and started just 16 games in the Bundesliga. The 24-year-old is currently with the Netherlands national team as they prepare for their Euro 2024 group stage opener against Poland on Sunday, Ronald Koeman's side will also play France and Austria in Group D. When asked about his future at Bayern this week, De Ligt said, I've already said this is not the time for me to think about it. We're playing at the Euros now and that's very important for me and the national team. That's why I can't say now what I think about this situation. But what I can say is that I've now played my second season at Bayern, I'm very happy. For now I'm focused on the Euros and then we'll see what happens, Real Sociedad star Miguel Marino speaks out over his future amid Manchester United transfer speculation. Mikel Marino has brushed off rumours of a possible move to Manchester United and insists he is solely focused on enjoying a successful end to the season with Real Sociedad. After an underwhelming one-year spell at Newcastle United, Marino has established himself as one of the top midfielders in La Liga and is expected to be a part of Luis de la Fuente's Spain squad at this summer's European Championships. Marino has played a key role in Real Sociedad securing European football over the last four years and the 27-year-old is desperate to do the same this term, with the club currently sitting sixth in the table. This season, Marino has racked up three goals and three assists in the Spanish top flight, while also netting twice in the Champions League, and his eye-catching displays have reportedly caught the attention of Europe's elite. The Spain international has entered into the last 18 months of his current deal in San Sebastian and Manchester United are reportedly ready to pounce, with Manchester City, Juventus and Atletico Madrid also credited with an interest in the Spaniard. Speaking to Marca, Marino stressed that he would not allow the incessant speculation over his future impact his performances on the pitch as he targets more history with La Real this season. The only thing I have in mind is to finish the season well, he said when asked for an update on his contract situation, that, contract negotiations, is for my representative and the president to carry out. During all these years I have shown total commitment and in these final months of the season I want to make sure that Real Sociedad are where they deserve, which is playing in Europe. I want to make history with the club. It would be five consecutive seasons of qualifying for Europe, something that no one has achieved. It would bring great pride to achieve it, despite the uncertainty over his contract situation, Marino is enjoying life in the spectacular and beautiful city of San Sebastian. We live very well, very well. It is a spectacular city, he added. They leave you in peace, you can sit on a terrace, walk around, it's beautiful. And for those of us who like gastronomy, it is one of the best places in the world to live. Marino reportedly has a 60 million euros, 51 million pounds, release clause in his contract and Real Sociedad could be tempted to sell their prized possession for a cut price fee in the summer considering he could leave on a free transfer in 2025. The former Newcastle and Borussia Dortmund man has scored 26 goals in 234 games for La Real and was a part of the club's Copa del Rey winning side of 2019. 20. Eric Ten Hag urged to ditch six Man United targets and complete two alternative transfers. Eric Ten Hag is already looking ahead to the summer transfer window, with incoming part owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe committed to turning Manchester United's recruitment woes around Eric Ten Hag has been urged to focus on signing Bayern Munich duo Joshua Kimmich and Alfonso Davies to help transform Manchester United. 
Both buy-in stars are due to be out of contract in 2025, making them more attainable for the Red Devils this summer. United are already claimed to have drawn up a six-man shortlist ahead of the next transfer window, notably the first, which will directly involve incoming part owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe, but ex-Red Devils striker Louis Soha would prefer his old club to target two alternative players in Kim Mi and Davies. German midfielder Kim Mi has been both buy-in and his country's linchpin for much of the last decade, while Canada international Davies is considered one of the world's best left-backs, boasting blistering speed. They are two extremely experienced players, especially Kim Mi, Soha told Betfred. Kim Mi would obviously be a great fit because he's one of the fittest players in Europe and is capable of running games and is very slick. He and Davies are both quality players, there's no doubting that. The duo have already been linked with moves to Old Trafford due to their uncertain futures, although Barcelona are known admirers of Kim Mi, while Real Madrid have been tipped to sign Davies. It's also been reported that like in the case of Mason Mount last summer, United are keen to snap up players who've entered the final 12 months of their deals and are facing pressure to be sold. Soha, however, has admitted that their plan might not prove to be a success. Going for players with one year remaining on their contract is a smart strategy, but sometimes it doesn't work out, the Frenchman, 45, explained. At this moment, Mason Mount hasn't been a success at Manchester United, so ultimately it's dependent on the character of the players, their suitability to the Premier League, the style of the team and many other factors. Other teams will be interested in these players if their contracts are running down, so it won't be easy for Manchester United to pull off any of these signings. If Manchester United are unable to offer these players Champions League next season, then that will be an advantage to certain other clubs looking to sign them. Signing stars of Kim Mihan Davies' caliber would be vastly different from the aforementioned six targets who've been identified by United. Those half a dozen include a number of young centre-backs, namely Everton's Jerry Branthwaite, nice stalwart Jean-Claire Todibo, Laney Euro of Lille and Benfica's Antonio Silva. Also shortlisted in attack is Wolves winger Pedro Neto as well as Crystal Palace's Michael O'Lies. Both players would command significant fees, Joshua Kimmi becomes transfer priority for Man United, report. Man United linked with serious interest in Joshua Kimmi. Bayern Munich midfielder soon to enter final year of contract Manchester United are the latest club linked with Joshua Kimmi as the Bayern Munich midfielder assesses his future at the Allianz Arena and a potential new challenge. Kimmi has long been seen as one of the best defensive midfielders in the world, who is also capable of playing at right back. But, as 90 minutes revealed at the time, he began feeling unsettled at the end of last season, leading to most of Europe's top clubs being contacted by intermediaries, the Germany international now has just over a year left on his current contract and Barcelona and Manchester City in particular have been credited with interest in recent months. Sport writes that Bayern's 50 million euros, 42.7 million pounds, valuation, while low for a player of Kimmich's age and quality at the elite level, is still too much for Barcelona to bear financially. The Catalans would instead bank on him running down his contract and moving as a free agent in 2025. But the report explains that is difficult because of the expected competition, throwing Manchester United's name into the mix as a serious rival the claim is that the Old Trafford club intend to sell Casemiro, both raising money in the transfer market and also removing one of the highest salaries from the wage bill, that will facilitate an approach for Kim Mi, now described as a priority. Kim Mi admitted earlier this month that new contract has not yet been up for discussion with Bayern, although he referred to himself as feeling, very relaxed, about the situation. In general, my situation is very clear, he said. I still have over a year left on my contract. Nobody has spoken to me yet. That's why I'm very relaxed. Let's see what happens. For me, the most important thing is that I perform well, that I reach my maximum performance, and I can't influence the rest.